Dear viewers, today we are going to learn few more example sums for addition calculation. Okay, already we have discussed uh, simple addition without regrouping and re regrouping method and we have learnt sum of adding one more numbers to the regrouping numbers and properties of addition. We have discussed the topic that is four important properties of addition. It is very useful for your third standard and fourth standard grade level addition mathematics. Okay, let me see. Now we are going to learn few more example sums and uh, examples of that, that explains the properties of addition. Okay, let me see. That is first property of addition is that is if you have add 0 with any number that gives the same numbers the first rule and if you add 1 okay to the any number that gives the successor of the number okay uh, let me do some example sums uh, for proving this property of addition okay that is our today's topic is addition okay and to prove properties of addition okay the first property is when we add okay 0 to any number only the the number does not change the answer will be the same number for example that is Okay, let me see now that is 3019 plus 0. So, the answer does not change only the remaining it answer will be the same that is 3019 because you have to add any number with 0 that is 0 plus 3 is 3 and that is 9 plus 0 only the 9 the answer will be the same number. Okay. Whatever it may be, 100, lakh, anything, any number, you have to add 0, the answer will be the same number. So, here that is 2986 and here that is 100 plus 0, answer will be 100. Okay, this is the first property of addition and second property is if you add 1 to the given number, for example, Okay, 99 plus 1. That's the next successor number of 99. So, answer is 100. And that is next sum. That is here 1017 plus 1. Answer will be 1018. Because the after number of 1717 here. This is a successor number of 1017. So, the answer will be 1018. Suppose if the number is in 5 digit or 6 digit number add plus 1 when you add 1 to this given number the answer will be that is 1 lakh 17191 okay if you add 1 to this number make the answer this is 1 plus 1 2 9 1 comma 7 1 comma 1 that is 1 lakh 17192 this is the answer okay that is this is the first property of addition this is the second property that is when you add 1 to any number answer will be the successor of this given number successor means the after number so if you if it is a number is more than 3 digit or 4 digit you have to add with 1 and make the find out the answer and write down the children okay this is a first property and second property and third property is the order of numbers okay let me see with the example that is order of numbers
okay order of numbers let me see two example sums for this third property of addition okay that is here okay now add these two number and compare with addition of these two numbers okay this is our example sum listen here that is 3000 plus 1770 okay this is addition of this number and this one is addition of these two numbers and compare both this sum okay let me do now that is here 3000 and 1000 17 first we have to add this 0 plus 7 7 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 7 7 and 3 plus 1 that is 4 okay this is the addition of this number and here you put write down this first number that is 1 7 1 7 and let me put down this number 3000 okay now we are going to add this number that is 7 Plus zero also seven. One plus zero also one. And seven plus zero also seven. And one plus three that is four. So when we compare this both this sum, okay, here also four thousand seven hundred and seventy, and here also four thousand seven hundred and seventy. It means here, listen, children. When you change the order of the number, that means three thousand plus. That number one thousand seven hundred and seventeen. Answer will be the same four thousand seven hundred and seventeen. And here also that is when you add one thousand seven hundred and seventeen plus three thousand. The answer also will be the same that is four thousand seven hundred and seventeen. Okay, this is our third property that is order of numbers. Okay, so first one is when you add zero, that the answer does not change. and when you add one that is a successor and third point order of numbers if you can change the order of the number in addition okay the answer will be the same okay and fourth property is regrouping okay let me see with example now you are going to learn regrouping what is meant by regrouping and property of addition it is a one of the most important uh, property of addition that is regrouping means what you have to arrange the numbers at any order okay and here that is example sum okay Okay, here addition of these numbers and compare with addition of these numbers. Here numbers are same, but the grouping numbers is different. For first, here you have to add two thousand five plus thousand and three first. Okay, let me write two thousand five and this number that is one thousand and three. First, you have to add this number that is five plus three, eight. That is zero, zero, and two plus one, three, and then add this third number. That is nine, three-digit number. Here nine hundred and ninety-nine. So right here nine hundred and sure, make sure that it has three digit, but it has four-digit number. So write down this number from this ones place. Put the correct column in the number, and then you have to add this. That is nine. Plus eight, that is seventeen. Seven plus one, so here seventeen. For regrouping method, you have to write down this seven here and one. The, we put this carry over here. So nine plus one, ten. Again zero carry over one here and nine plus one, ten. Zero carry over one and three plus one, that is four. Okay, the answer is four thousand seven. And let me do the addition of. That right hand side number that you have to add first that is one thousand three. 
okay and plus that is three digit number that is 999 okay let me do 3 plus 9 that is 12 okay so tw for 12 you have to put this number 2 and in tens place number that should be carry over here so 9 plus 1 10 again that is 10 okay so 10 0 here and carry over this 1 here and 9 plus 1 10 okay and 1 that is 2 so the answer is 2002 and now add this number to this that is 2005 okay so 2 plus 5 7 0 0 and 2 plus 2 that is 4 here the answer is same that is 4007 and here also 4007 so let both this answers are same in left hand side and right hand side and observe here that is when you rearrange this number where whatever it may be so you have to the addition sum it is same okay if you change the order and regroup the numbers the answer will be the same okay that is a fourth property so we have discussed four properties with examples first one is add with zero next one add with one and order of numbers okay and regrouping means you have to rearrange the numbers and you can make it the answer will be the same okay